Hello, good morning. Welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name's Lauren. Today's video is going to be an unedited day in my life. And these are kind of challenging for me, especially in the morning, because I feel like I'm more inclined to stumble over my words or take long pauses naturally. So yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. I haven't done it in a little bit. I think it's been a couple of months since last summer and I'm gonna try it again. And I think you guys kind of loved it last time. So we're gonna challenge ourselves and film an unedited day in my life today and see how it goes. You guys get to see all of the raw, real footage. If you guys don't know what it is or what an unedited day in my life entails, it's basically where I film just all my clips and I don't edit them or cut anything out. So it's not going to be very like montage or anything like that because I can't edit certain things out. So you're going to see me starting and stopping each clip. It's just going to be the real footage of each clip, nothing cut out. So they're fun to watch for me. <laughs> they're just kind of hard to film. So we're going to try and film one today it's kind of gloomy outside it's 8 a.m i woke up about an hour ago started editing a tiktok been really into tiktok lately just posting i've been posting like every day for the past two weeks so i filmed a tiktok yesterday and i'm gonna post it today i just gotta do a little voiceover for it but it's really gloomy let me show you how gloomy it is outside and it sucks that I can't. Okay, I'm gonna pause the clip. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pause the clip and then start it once I get outside. <laughs> I guess the clouds are kind of moving away now, but it was a little bit gloomier this morning. I woke up and I was like, what time is it? <laughs> and it was like after seven. And I was like, okay, it's not as early as I thought it was because it was so dark outside. But looks like it's starting to clear up a little bit, which is good. Just made my morning lemon water and chlorophyll water and I wanted to share the flowers that my two friends got me. It's Christian and I's five year anniversary today and he's out of town on a bachelor trip. So they brought me flowers because we hung out last night and made pizza. That was in the last vlog. So if you haven't seen that vlog, I will link it down below. But they got me these flowers and I put it in this vase. And then they also got me these flowers and I mixed in some of the baby's breath with these tulips. And I put them right here next to this photo. I need to change out this photo. It's kind of older. I want to say it's from 2019, I think. And then I just added a bunch of photos throughout the years. These are really old photos, probably like from 2018. And then these were recent. And then these were from our Austin, Texas trip last year. But this one's from a wedding from a couple of years ago that I keep in the kitchen. <laughs> but... Just wanted to share these flowers. I'm gonna drink these and then make my coffee. Okay, my head's probably gonna be cut off for the duration of this clip just because I want you to see what I'm doing, but I'm gonna be making a brown sugar shaken espresso, but I'm gonna be doing it with cashew milk and not oat milk because cashew milk is my favorite. It's so good. So I'm gonna make this. I'm not gonna waste any time. And of course I can't open this. And this is the issue with not being able to cut anything out. Okay, so I just got the light brown sugar. And then I have vanilla extract, a mason jar with a lid to shake it. You need one tablespoon of the brown sugar. I'm just going to put it in there. And then one fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract and then you just brew the espresso over top of it this is the lazy way to do it you can also make a syrup but i'd rather just make it this way and brew the espresso over top just to make it easier okay okay so let's Brew the espresso and then I will come back when it's done. 
Okay, this is the cashew milk that I use. I honestly haven't tried any other cashew milk, but this one's my favorite, even though I haven't tried any others. It just has filtered water and cashews. I love the Elmhurst brand. I've been drinking this for years. So I love that. I wanted to share that just in case you're curious. So I filled up my cup with the cashew milk and then some ice because more of this ice is gonna be transferred. But brewed the espresso with the brown sugar and the vanilla and I'm gonna pour it in here. And then the little one and shake it. I want to make sure the lid's like really on. Okay. I'll probably mute that part so it's not like super annoying. <laughs> Pretty gorgeous. Okay. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. It doesn't taste that sweet to me. To me maybe I just I don't know I don't know should I add like a little bit more of things I added a tablespoon but the serving size is two tablespoons oh, it doesn't taste that sweet to me maybe add cinnamon let me add some cinnamon on top I think this was also an ingredient. Cinnamon for the at home. Sorry, that's like. See, I would have cut that out. <laughs> I had to pick up the cinnamon. And that cup is like leaking everywhere. Yep. Yep. Okay, so if you make this, I would do two tablespoons of the brown sugar and maybe the same amount of vanilla or maybe double the vanilla. So I'll put the instructions on the screen on how to make it. I would definitely double it because it's not that sweet and then I like adding the cinnamon on top but you can totally leave that out. But I'm gonna drink my coffee, sit on the couch, watch some YouTube and then cook breakfast. Just made some avocado toast for breakfast. I actually switched it up today and mixed cream cheese with the avocado mash and put it on the toast and then a runny egg on top. So I'm gonna eat this in front of the TV and then probably start getting ready because I need to head to the grocery store. Hello, it's later. I'm about to make a big Stanley of water with this Element electrolyte drink mix. I feel something coming on. I feel like a little bit of a sickness coming on something i feel a little bit run down it's starting to like slowly come on as the morning progresses into the afternoon which is so unfair because i've been home all weekend and i just don't even know why i could be getting sick or coming down with something so i took an electrolyte no i took a what's it called a vitamin C packet. I already took a vitamin C packet and now I'm gonna put this in my water and try and be really good about drinking my water today. And hopefully it goes away. But, hold on. Maybe I should have paused it, but oh well. Um, 
The thing about these element packets is, hold on, I'm, I just don't want it to overflow. Christian always leaves his Yeti like sitting underneath the water and walks away and the amount of times that it's overfilled onto the floor is insane. So I didn't want that to happen, but so there's multiple electrolyte drink mixes out there. I drank a liquid IV, I drank these, and um, the difference between these and liquid IV is that there's no sugar in these. It's just really salty. So I recommend if you were to buy these to put them in at least 30 ounces to 40 ounces of water because if you put them in like a 16 ounce water bottle, it's very salty. So, I like the orange salt flavor, um, the lime flavor, is it the lime? Or citrus, it's citrus salt, it's also very good. They're on Amazon, I can link it down below. Just a little bit better than liquid IV because there is no sugar, but I like both, they're honestly really good. I love some liquid IV flavors so much more than this flavor, but I can link it. It has um, 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. So there's tons of good electrolytes, minerals in this that are super beneficial, and I love drinking them throughout the week. It adds like a little bit of flavor to your water and helps keep me hydrated, especially if you're like working out and depleting those minerals. I've talked about it before. When you work out, when you sweat, it depletes a lot of your minerals and this helps just get that hydration back into your system, into your body. So I'm gonna drink this, hopefully this helps. And whatever I'm like coming down with, hopefully it's just exhaustion, but I don't know what I'm exhausted from. I've been home literally all weekend, so I don't know. But I'm gonna change, I'm gonna make a grocery list too and then head to the grocery store it's gonna be like a small grocery trip i'm not gonna meal prep today i just don't want to i'm gonna get some chicken salad from publix and do like chicken salad sandwiches for lunch and that will be just really easy so i'm gonna drink this change make a grocery list and head to the grocery store and i think i also need to get some gas in my car for the week but that's the plan okay i just got to wawa and I use the app for Wawa Gas because periodically they do this save 15 cents and it really does add up. So I always do it through the app and they randomly kind of do little promotions like this and they're doing it right now through May 7th, but I feel like this video will be up after May 7th. So just download the app if you live near a Wawa and periodically throughout the year it's like every couple of months they do this save 15 cents if you do it through the app and you can have a gift card or you can just do apple pay through the app and it's the best thing ever to save a couple bucks on gas so i'm gonna fill up my gas tank and then head to the grocery store I just got home from the grocery store and the buy one get one free section got me. I've been wanting to try these but they're pretty pricey so I haven't tried them before and I saw them in the buy one get one free so I got them. I got the dark chocolate peanut butter and then the dark chocolate coconut bars and I've seen these literally everywhere and I'm so excited to try them. <laughs> and this was in the buy one get one free section too and these are so good so I got some of these too. And then just other things that I needed for the week. I mentioned, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that we're doing chicken salad sandwiches for the week. So I got some chicken salad. I just get the classic one from Publix. Greek yogurt, things like that. We needed more rice, popcorn, just a little grocery haul. So I'm going to put this stuff away. I'm so excited to try this. I think I'm going to try some right now, but I don't know which one I'm going to try. So stay tuned. Wow. All I have to say is, wow, just tried one of these and they are so good. Definitely recommend. Haven't tried this yet, but I'm sure it's good. But these are incredible, incredible. Definitely recommend. 
I put my tulips outside to kind of get some sunlight because they're kind of like over there in the corner. And they bloomed so much or like opened up a little bit from the sunlight because I just have them over here in the corner and I put them outside for a little bit just to get some sun and they bloomed a little bit. I love. So now I just put them back inside for the rest of the day. And oh, I look kind of a mess. I should have like brushed my hair or did something for starting this clip. But um, I've just been sitting on the couch looking at wedding guest dresses for the Italy wedding that we're going to in a couple of months. I just kind of wanted to get a head start. I don't really know exactly what I'm going for, but I want to do like some type of color, I think, maybe like yellow or orange, something like that maybe. I don't I don't really know. But um so that's what I've been doing. Also, I just got off the phone with Christian like a couple of hours ago. And he was, he's like superstitious with like the heat game and everything. The Miami um, heat basketball team. He's such a big heat fan that the funny thing, he like last week and like the last couple of weeks, honestly, he wouldn't close the blinds because the heat were doing so well that he was like superstitious. He was like, okay, they won with the blinds open. So we're like not closing the blinds and they just won again today and he was like turn on make sure the blinds are opened um make sure to turn on the little light around the tv trying to get it set up so because he's just trying to be funny and superstitious or whatever and they ended up winning so he's probably in like such a great mood because they won but i just thought that was funny and um i just checked the the score and they won so that's exciting but I still kind of feel like not so good. My hair is like crazy. I still kind of feel like not so good. And um, so I've just been relaxing. Probably gonna watch some more TV. I don't really have anything to do, honestly, around the house. I already did my laundry, nothing to meal prep. So this is good. I'll probably take a bath later to like decompress and things like that. And then um, I've been doing cold showers after like my hot shower. I've been finishing with cold showers and it's been pretty nice. And I don't know if the benefits are benefiting, I guess. I don't know if anything has benefited like health and wellness wise yet because I haven't been doing it for that long, but maybe it's supposed to like help with stress and inflammation and things like that. And there's like a whole huge list of other things that it helps with so i've been like trying to like work up the amount of time that i'm in the shower doing like the cold water so i've been kind of enjoying it and then also like it's kind of like a mental thing too because you're like sitting there like counting i like count in my head and i'm like one two trying to like stay in there as long as i can but it's like such a mental thing to try and stay under the cold water and it's challenging but you like feel good afterwards. So I've just been like incorporating that and we'll see, but I've been doing it at night because that's when I mostly shower. But if I shower in the morning, I still do end with a little bit of cold. And I've only done it for like 45 seconds max, I'm trying to work up to a minute and then hopefully like get up to like three minutes and then maybe like completely switch my shower over to like a cold shower because it's good for skin, hair, things like that. So we'll see, just wanted to share that, but I'm gonna go put on another YouTube video, maybe have another little snack, it's five. I like to eat dinner around like seven, 7.30, so maybe like have another snack or something and just chill out for a little bit then cook some dinner i'm gonna have leftovers for dinner i'm like really proud of myself that i've stayed at home all weekend and not like eaten out at all so proud of myself for that so i'm gonna have leftovers for dinner but yeah that's what's going on just wanted to update 
I look really tired, but I'm just making some dinner. I just made this on Friday and I had a whole Tupperware full of it and I didn't want to waste it and like eat out. So I just heated up the ground beef in the microwave and then cut up some lettuce. I'm going to cut up some tomatoes, put cheese on top and then Greek yogurt, which is such a good substitute for sour cream. I feel like it has the same flavor and it adds like a little bit of extra protein and it's a little bit better for you. And then I have half an avocado from breakfast. And then I think I'm gonna put these jalapeno lime siete chips on top. They're so good. They're a little bit spicy. So if you don't like spicy, you probably won't like these. But Christian on Wednesday went to Sprouts to pick up sushi because on Wednesdays at Sprouts they do $5 sushi rolls and if you live near Sprouts you have to go on Wednesdays because it's such a good deal and they do like spicy tuna rolls, California rolls, like all that stuff and for $5 and it's good quality and it tastes fresh, you really can't beat it. So he went there and whenever he goes to Sprouts I feel like he gets caught up in like some of the aisles and buys like fun little things like this he also bought some desserts and things but Publix doesn't have fun flavors like this like they have like the basic flavors like just the sea salt the lime and the nacho but these fun fun flavors they don't really have so he picked these up and they're pretty good if you like spicy I also like the fuego ones they're pretty good too but I'm gonna put those on top and this will be dinner and this is the reality of dinner it's it's totally okay to eat at home save money it's totally okay to eat leftovers and things like that totally normal okay you don't always have to be going out to eat or doing something I feel like this weekend I kind of laid low and eat at home made a frozen pizza last night with Taylor and Maya. So it's so normal and it's so okay to not always be doing something or like going out to eat, things like that. You don't always need to be like going out and spending money. So here's your reminder, eat those leftovers. My literal camera just died, but <laughs> I made the rest of um, my salad. I've had this battery in like all day, but I'm gonna sit down, eat this, it looks incredible, and sit on the couch and then take a bath and then maybe like drink some tea or something, some sleepy time tea to get ready for bed. But here's my, here's my dinner. It's the most stunning evening out here right now. I just sat out on the balcony for like 25 minutes with like no phone, just kind of taking it all in. I think the rain from this weekend brought in some crisp air because it feels in the low 70s and there's a slight breeze and it feels really nice outside. So I just sat out here for a little bit and now I'm about to take a bath. I'm gonna walk over to the bathroom and start up a bath and let me see i have some like bath salts and i'm honestly running low on stuff i need to get some more so i just have some bath salts and the same i think they're the same size yeah just the stuff that you can get from like target and i'm gonna start it off light a candle I don't know which candle I'm gonna light. I have like so many. I wish I kind of had a lavender one. basket full of candles and let's see cactus and rose that sounds kind of nice a lot of these are christmas candles like tis the season 
sweet vanilla cinnamon. I have a pumpkin one. Fall for me. Pumpkin. What's this one? Perfect Christmas. Things like. Yeah, I think most of them are Christmas ones. Let me see this one. So I'm deciding between Daydream. Ooh, that's kind of relaxing. I kind of love the scent of rose. This one smells good too, but I think I'm gonna do the Daydream one. Where's this even from? Maybe like Target? We'll do that one. So this is the issue with a day in my life. There's all of these pauses and me just like waiting. Oh my gosh, I forgot a lighter. Okay, I'm gonna pause. Do like the candle, start at the bath. Just making some lemon balm tea. Lemon balm tea is known to calm the central nervous system and it also supports digestion. So it's kind of perfect to drink right before bed. So I'm gonna let this steep while the bathtub fills and then I can drink it while I'm in the tub. I'm also gonna close these while I'm in the bath and the ones in the living room. trying to hydrate but I just got out of the shower I took a cold shower after my bath which was really nice I put on my little PJ set onesie that I got off Amazon that I shared I think a couple of vlogs ago I'll link it and then my super comfy barefoot dreams robe that I also got off of Amazon and it's like $60 cheaper on Amazon which is such a great deal for this robe um, it is heavy duty it's like a really it's more like a winter robe honestly but I love it and just wearing that clip my hair up did my skincare and I'm about to slather my face in aquaphor because it's that night I do the skin cycling and I switch to three days instead of four days of skin cycling so I do the same it's like the same thing except I only do one night of active recovery sometimes I do two nights depending on like how dry my skin is or how it reacts but most of the time I just do three nights of the skin cycling so I'm gonna lather my face in aquaphor sit on the couch and it's only 8 30 so I might watch a movie but I wanted to go ahead and end off this video right here I hope you guys enjoyed this unedited day in my life and I hope the whole me starting and stopping clips didn't get too annoying or anything like that but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed I'm gonna relax and get prepped for the work week it's a new week it's a review week I'm nervous but anyways I hope you guys have a great work week ahead whatever you're doing week ahead if you're on vacation whatever Whatever life looks like for you right now, I hope you are enjoying your day or night. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.